Hello YouTube people, this is Jason again. Thought I'd do a quick video on how to do auto tool change in Fusion 360 with a router, not a spindle. Um, with the spindle you gotta do a couple other settings to program in your spindle. I don't have that, but with the Makita router, this is how you do it. So you create your file, and you create your post processing files. And before you do that though, you always gotta make sure when you set up your bits, go to edit tool, when you set up your bits, go to post processor, make sure you have manual tool change and live tool checked. What that means is it'll know, hey, if there's two different or three different bits in your files combined, it knows to stop so you can turn your router off, change your bit, reset your Z zero with your probe touch or with a piece of paper, however you do it, and then you can turn on the router and then hit play again. It'll just pause and blink until you have everything set up and then you can hit play again once you get all those settings set up and continue on with the second bit. So I will show you post, -process, post processing it, I'm sorry, and also what it looks like and then I'll actually run the file in the air, you know, doing a ghost cut because I don't need to cut anything today. So you go to post process after you select all your files you're trying to do. Now in here, this is where you got to change stuff. Optional stop. Change that to yes. All you got to do is tap on the yes and you can change it to yes or no. Preload tool. Yes. And also always have your circular interpolation on yes when you're using a Onefinity CNC. This gives you nice smooth round radiuses and circles. Now I also have my open NC file in editor on because I want to see the file after it's made. So I want to post process it. I want to put it on my thumb drive. I'm going to call it auto tool stop change test file. I'm going to hit save. Yes, I want to override it. And then in a second, the NC editor pops up. And for some reason didn't work. Didn't like my thumb drive. Let's try it again. Post process. Create the file in my thumb drive as that file. Save. Yes. Override it. And it goes into the post processor. Creates the G code file. And if you see, look, it has T4. That's the number for my bit. It's a 0 0.0394, it's a one millimeter bit. And then T25, that's my 1 16th inch bit, flat end mills. It knows there's two bits. So it knows there's a spot in there when the codes change to stop the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, close it out, and I'll see you in just a minute once I get the machine set up. All right, YouTube guys, I've got program set up I got the file loaded up auto stop tool change test everything's zeroed out everything's good everything's set up now I'm gonna run the ghost test which means the machine is just gonna be routing in the air without spinning just to do this test to show you that it'll stop and wait for you to change your bit so here we go And as you see, it paused right where the break is for the new bit. So this is when you would come here, 
turn off your router from on to off change out your bit tighten it up and then you would reset your Z up and down with your probe plate and then after you're done and it's ready all you do is hit play and it continues on and does the other code for the other bit And when it's done, of course, it goes back to 0, 0, 0, or 0, 0, X, Y. And that's it, guys. File was done. It's just a quick test. That's how you do it. So hopefully uh, you got a little education out of this and you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I still have that giveaway. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm at 204 subscribers right now. So I got 296 more to go. Anybody who likes my videos, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be giving away a Makita router that I actually have in the box right over here, sitting there waiting to be given away. So I have the router. I'm just waiting on 500 subscribers. Once I get that, I am doing a giveaway, and it's a free router shipped to you for free. That's a $100 part of this whole machine I'm giving away. So... Get people out there to subscribe if they want a free router. Even if they don't want it for a CNC machine. They just want a router for doing woodworking themselves. That's fine. If you're subscribed, you're in the contest. Take it, e take it easy, guys.